everybody, Morgan with the Vin Answer here, and today I want to show you how I built these slot together pillars. So often when you're putting together an event, you need a way to have different heights, and this adds texture and interest to a vignette, a photo booth, or a great way to spice up your food stations. So follow along and I'll show you how I built these slot together pieces that not only make a great statement piece, but they fold flat to fit in your car. I'm making three pillars today, all from this single sheet of half inch MDF. And that includes two 42 inch pillars and one 36 inch pillar. I found that if I arranged all my cuts in a specific way, I could get all of the pieces I needed from this one sheet. If you'd like to see a diagram of that, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Those plans will also include templates, step-by-step -step instructions, as well as the diagram. All of the cuts for this project can be made with a circular saw and a jigsaw. I will be using a miter saw in a moment to help with that, but you could get away with just two saws to make this project happen. Each pillar is made up of three main components. The slot together legs, a square top piece, and then some spacers that go on the underside of that square piece to hold it in place when you put it on top of the slotted together legs. So I'm just gonna cut out all of the lengths using my circular saw here and then switch over to my miter saw to cut the horizontal cuts on that just so I'm not on the floor anymore. I also whipped out all these little spacers on the miter saw. They're one by three inches and I'll attach them to the underside of my square to hold it in place. I drew some guidelines on all my legs finding the center point and then on either side of that center point, giving myself a quarter inch mark, which will accommodate my half inch MDF. The important thing to remember is to only cut halfway up the board, um, because if that cut is longer than the halfway point, you'll have a little gap showing when these slot together. So I'm just gonna make these sets of marks on all of my legs and then bust out the jigsaw. I decided to cut all of these slots with a jigsaw, but you could cut these with a circular saw as well and then just finish the square end with the jigsaw, but I felt like this gave me a lot of control and I could really see the line where it needed to be. As I cut these out, I actually cut right through my pencil line and that gave me the width of the saw blade as a tolerance when these are being slot together and they'll come together a little easier. So then I'm just gonna cut these free and square off the end with the jigsaw. Included in the plans below is this template that I'm using to cut out feet in the bottoms of all of the legs. I thought this added a really nice touch so it wasn't just a square piece of wood sitting on the ground. When cutting out the feet, it's important that you cut one end that's solid and then cut a foot out of its mate on the opposite end, which would be the slotted end. Because if you have feet on the same side, you're actually, when you slot this together, gonna have one foot up underneath your square and one on the ground. So make sure you're doing on opposite ends of your pair and then put a little bit of adhesive onto this and then line up the center point in the template with a center mark on the very end of your piece of wood. And then you'll do the same thing on the slotted end. But because that center point is cut out, I've actually put a mark three inches in from either side and then I'm gonna align that with the ends of the template and that will also be centered and then I just cut this out using the jigsaw again. The only gluing I'm gonna be doing for this project is attaching the small spacer pieces to the square. So I'm gonna find the center point by drawing a line corner to corner across my square and then from that center point, I'm gonna measure two inches out on all four sides, and that's gonna tell me where to put my spacers. So I've got one extra spacer here that's gonna stand in for the legs. And then just using a little bit of wood glue, I'm gonna apply a little bit on each end. And then in the center of each block, I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue. This super glue is gonna act as my clamp. So instead of trying to finagle clamps or using pin nails, I'm just gonna put a little bit of super glue. And then once I've got it in place, I'm gonna spray it with activator and that will set the super glue and that'll hold it in place until the wood glue can dry. And I'm just gonna line these blocks on either side of my center spacer that's aligned with my pencil mark. I'm just gonna make sure those are squared up on that two inch from the center. I also wanna make sure that spacer, there's a little bit of wiggle room between the blocks that I'm gluing down because that'll make slotting everything together a lot easier. Mm -hmm. 
let's get to painting. So I'm using some regular white latex house paint to cover all of my pieces. Now you could also use spray paint, which might be easier, but I was afraid I would run out of cans that I have on hand, so I'm just gonna roll this on. An MDF is quite porous and soaks the paint in, so I had to do two coats on all of the sides, um, but I am considering putting a third on just to make sure the coating is really even. For my assembly, I didn't bother getting into all the slots to paint inside of that on either the underside of the square or on any of the legs. I felt that since you couldn't see it once it's assembled, um, I didn't bother. Uh, if you felt like you wanted that protection though of the wood, you could absolutely get in there with a paintbrush, but I was able to do all of this with just the foam roller and a tray of the white paint. So I'm just gonna let everything dry for a little bit and then flip it over and repeat on all the pieces on the opposite side before letting everything dry overnight. The assembly of these pieces could not be any easier. It's literally slot the legs together and then slot the top piece on and you're ready to party. I hope you were inspired by today's project and give it a try. Honestly, something like this is so helpful when setting up a stage or a food station at a party or heck, I think I may just put it in my living room to keep my plants on. It's so versatile and it flat packs so nicely for storage and transportation. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button below and join our creative community as we build even more fun props and decorations. If you'd like, I've got videos over here that you can check out. I do all kinds of balloon tutorials, event setups, party decorations as well as answering some of your party and event questions. So follow along and until the next time, stay creative.